In this video, we'll walk you through how to set up libraries in Optics and use the library object components in a project. This requires Factory Talk Optics Studio version 1.4 or higher to be installed. The library can be downloaded online from Rockwell Automation's Product Compatibility and Download Center. Step 1. If you haven't done so already, you can download the latest library from the Rockwell Automation website to search for libraries and check compatibility. Run the provided setup script. This script is provided for users to quickly set up Rockwell Automation library content for use with Factory Talk Optics and Studio 5000 Application Code Manager. When executed, the Factory Talk Optics library files included in the release package are copied to the default installation location for user libraries. Alternatively, you can manually copy the files in the Factory Talk Optics Libraries folder to the Windows user's Factory Talk Optics Library directory. Step 2. Import library objects to the Factory Talk Optics project. Open an existing project or create a new project in Factory Talk Optics Studio. For a new project, enter a project name, select the desired size, and click on Create. It's a good idea to organize your libraries in folders. Right click on the UI folder and add a new subfolder. Use the edit symbol to rename the folder. We recommend using the same name as the library. Now, click on the libraries icon in the menu bar to open the libraries window. The libraries window will display all the libraries available from the default libraries location. It includes the libraries which were copied in the previous step. Select the newly added library to filter on the available library components. Find the desired component, then drag and drop it into the new library folder in the project. This folder now includes types for the device faceplate, graphic symbols, private elements like panels and widgets, and the help panel of the object. Everything that you need to use this library object in your project. You may notice that some of the common components like these STK types, which are commonly used in different libraries, are placed outside the object folder. You may need to include more than one device object in your project. At this time, you may see a conflicting types detected window pop up with three options to address the conflicts. Skip all, replace all, or rename all. In most cases, you can select skip all to avoid overriding existing types. Alternatively, use Replace All if you are updating any objects to a newer version to ensure you get the most current types. Step 3. Copy and configure the style sheet. It's a good idea to organize your project's style sheets in a dedicated folder. Add a new folder within the UI folder and rename the folder to Style Sheets. Use the Edit symbol to rename the folder. Click on the Libraries icon in the menu bar to open the Libraries window. Select the Style Sheets library, then drag and drop the ISA Style Sheet into the Style Sheets folder in your project. This Style Sheet follows ISA 101 standards for HMI development and is recommended to be used with our libraries. Close the Libraries window and click on Native Presentation Engine under the UI folder. In the properties of the native presentation engine, set the style sheet to the ISA style sheet. Step 4. Configure communication driver and import tags from controller. If this is a new project without a station already configured, you may need to configure a new communication driver and station. Click on the Open Dashboard Page drop-down and select Configure Communications to Devices. The Configure Communications to Devices window will open. Click on New Station. Now, select the station RAE Thernet IP station and click Next. 
Provide a controller path and an IP address in the root property of the station, then click Next. The configured station is now shown as an available device. Click Next. Now, select the Configured Station under Communication Drivers folder. In the Properties of Configured Station, set the Enable Extended Properties to True. Click on the Online or Offline toggle button to set the tag import to online mode. The tag importing process will start automatically. All the available controller tags will be displayed and you can simply select all or select the required tags, then click Next. Your new device is now synchronized with tag information and is displayed on the screen. Click Exit. This will complete the tag import process. Step 5. Configure the graphic symbols. Graphic symbols are graphical representations of the devices which include buttons to open the related faceplates and include some basic diagnostics. To add on into your project, right-click on the target window or screen in your UI folder. Click to navigate through New, then the Library folder name, then the desired device. Then in the Graphic Symbols menu there may be different options, including Text Buttons or Graphic Buttons. Now we can link the instance of the Graphic Symbol button to the instance of the Device Objects AOI in the Logics Controller. Select the newly added button to configure the properties. Set the reference tag to the add-on instruction instance by browsing for the device object tag. For the configuration label, you can choose to leave it blank to automatically display the tag's description metadata. Otherwise, you can enter a custom string in this field. All other parameters can remain as default. Step 6. Save project and create runtime. When you are ready to test your project, you can use the emulator or download it to an optics panel. Click on the emulator drop-down menu, then select Local and add a new target device using the plus sign button. Here, you can enter a target name to describe your optics panel. Enter the IP address and destination path of the target optics panel. You can also enter a username if required. Check the transfer source project box and any other required options in the download settings then click Select to finish this configuration. Click on the Run button. This concludes the guide on how to import and configure device objects in Factory Talk Optics video.